Hi, and welcome to Be Here TV. I'm Isaac Carlson here at the Aspen Ideas Festival Block Party, and today I'm joined by Katha Yoon, and she's from Spark Truck. So, hi. Uh, hi, hi, Kathy. <laughs> uh, so, could I get you to explain, uh, just for the audience, what exactly Spark Truck is, what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. So, Spark Truck is, the way we describe it is, it is it, it's like a shop class on wheels, basically. We try to bring this experience to kids all over the country where they can build things and make things um, that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise in their classrooms because of lack of space or lack of time or, you know, teachers who aren't sure how to integrate project-based hands-on learning into their classrooms. Right. So we've been trying to drive around mostly in the Bay Area where we started, but now cross country and bring those experiences to kids wherever we go. So. So you're kicking off your tour this weekend mm -hmm. on the actual on the actual bus. Yes. Uh, or the truck. The truck, yeah. But um, you, you were telling me earlier you've already done some work with, yeah. with the kids. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, well, in order to be able to figure out, you know, what activities work, what age groups we want to work with, we had to prototype, if you will, a right. lot of our activities um, in and around the Stanford area and the Bay Area. So we ran workshops with almost 300 kids, I guess, wow. in the past six months, um, mostly from the fourth through the eighth grade, that's kind of our target age range, um, to kind of see what sorts of activities we liked running, what sorts of activities were fun for the kids, and really like, you know, embodied our message about having pieces that really represent your identity as a person, but also allow you to collaborate with others. And um, like I was saying before, getting stuck and unstuck um, and yeah. creating a, an artifact at the end that they can really be proud of and say like, I made this, it's so cool. That's great. Yeah. And it's, it's great to have you on the show here with Be Heard TV because we're, we're a branch of True Media mm -hmm. Foundation and the goal of True Media Foundation is to educate youth to create uh, media with a social value. Perfect. And what we do, we like to do a lot of the hands-on mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we do the talent is the youth, the yeah. camera operations the youth, yeah. the whole deal. So, um, I'd, I'd like to hear from you a little bit about, you know, in your experience so far, what you found has worked, what yeah. doesn't work. Yeah, so I think what has worked is giving the kids, it's all about freedom and control, right? So what has worked has been a lot about how much freedom we give the kids. We give the kids enough freedom to help them succeed, but also control enough of the process that they don't get too easily frustrated. And it's not too hard for them to come out of those stuck points. Um, so we try to engineer our activities so that the kids control most of it, but we still are in control in the background, helping them to be successful because we want these experiences to be really positive for them. Um, we also really like encouraging the kids to work together. So we encourage them to look on each other's papers and That's copy good. ideas and make them their own. Um, if one kid is having a really hard time and one kid is, you know, just flying along, we pair them up a little bit to see if they can mentor each other through the process, which has been really great. Um, yeah, so just trying to foster both a social learning environment, but also a personal learning environment has been really important to us. That's great. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure you've probably gotten already some you know, great stories, some yes. success experiences. Yeah. Are there any of those that you'd like to share? Yeah, um, one that we really love is we ran a bunch of workshops in Milpitas, California, which is in the Bay Area with sixth graders there. And the, the workshops themselves were really wonderful and successful. They were making um, vibrating robot creatures, one of our most popu yeah, popular fun. workshops. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we had this girl who later on, we asked the teacher if she could send us videos of any kids who wanted to share anything with us after the workshop. The kids had said like they wanted to stay in touch. And so we gave them that opportunity to, you know, if you have anything to say, let us know. And so this girl sends us this adorable video of her and a new, she even says, this is a prototype that I built. This is a girl that you like wouldn't expect to be, uh, you wouldn't, when you look at her for the first time, you wouldn't think engineer. You right. know, so yeah, she's, no, know yeah, you can tell she's one of the popular girls. She really, you know, she's got cool clothes, she's got cool hair. Very hip. And she's, yeah, very hip. And she's showing us this prototype that she made of an easy way to throw away your trash and she explains the entire process and everything and she, at the, in the beginning she says spark truck spark truck lo made her love inventing things so she invented new stuff after we left and that's one of our favorites that's fantastic yeah that's a yeah. great story yeah it's really good so you know getting uh you know getting in contact with with these youth mm -hmm. the 8 to 12 is mostly mm -hmm. what you're going for right yeah um 
we've, we're talking here today, if you heard a lot about social media yeah. and using the, the language of the millennial, the yeah. social media era language. Definitely. Um, so like getting in connection with, with these sorts of kids, yeah. um, what, what sorts of social media yeah. aspects do you use to get hold of them? Well, we're on Twitter and we're on Facebook, but we also, our website and our aesthetic is, is very accessible and hip and you know we try to make it so that kids and parents would both be really interested right in, kind of draw them in yeah exactly and so we encourage kids to visit our website at sparktruck.org and and take a look at our route we have very friendly graphics for kids of all ages to follow along and see where in the country we are and um follow see some of our videos put you know send us their own videos that right. sort of thing so um, the videos actually that we got from that teacher were emailed to us and sent to me on my phone. So, See, yeah, yeah, there you go. The teacher recorded them Getting on her the phone connected. and texted them over, and we showed them in our class. So you know, just they're they are very they're very used to creating their own content now because they have a presence online. They're in the sixth grade. They're right. building their own identity, and so they really like being able to create content with us knowing that it's going to you know go up on the web and they can show their friends and family enter the wider world yeah, sort of yeah exactly so i just uh, i have one more question for yeah. you and that's just you know you're starting your tour you're kicking mm -hmm. off this weekend and i just want to know uh, what are your hopes what are you hoping to accomplish yeah. throughout this uh, throughout this tour yeah i think one beyond. of yeah right i think one of our biggest hopes is for conceptual scaling like we think this idea is really cool and even if there's only one truck, we really want to be able to let other people know about this idea. So if they're so inspired, they can take it forward in whatever form. I mean, I my background's in, in informal education. And uh -huh. um, so I would love to see it come into camps and classes outside of the school environment. But also we would love to see these ideas catch on within the classroom. So. We're hoping that people will be inspired by their time enough to pursue, even if they don't pursue a STEM career, pursue this way of thinking later on in life. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kathy. No Ian, problem. For Thanks in. for having it was me. A pleasure. Great. And if you would like to learn more, if you want to learn to speak the millennial language, we here at Be Heard TV, we speak the millennial language of the social media, and we can teach you how to use it to promote your message of social value. So I encourage you, please check us out on www.beheardtv.com. Thanks so much for coming. We'll see you next time.